here I am in our gorgeous Helga. You know she's our pride and joy. She's our Hobby Optima Deluxe T65 HFL that we bought new in 2017. I know you all love her as much as we do. Um, I have got a slight problem. Turn you around because I can't get back because I'm having to climb over this. Slow, tell us what's happened. Broken. There's your battery. Gone. Five and when, years. And when did it go slow? Uh, New Year's Eve. After we'd been out. Eating, no lights. All good fun. Especially when you've had two bottles of beer. Yeah. So, today's job is going to be doing that. Hopefully. Please do. Please do. Because we're going out. We're going out in the next weekend. So, come on, Slaw. Get it fixed. I'm going back in the house to do the ironing now, I'll leave you with him. So, seat's out. That's what we've got now. So, I think what we're going to need to do is disconnect the main battery as well. Sure, we don't get any short circuits. So, my control panel now, if I look at it, oh, you can see that. I've got a battery warning because of the voltage. If I go on to it, it's now showing no, no lines. So, Hopefully that's going to get sorted. Right, let's crack on. So, uh, first thing we're going to do now is we're going to get the um, battery, main battery, starter battery, which I think from the rear. These magnetic dishes are good. Remember where everything goes. One thing in motorhomes is there's never a lot of room. I need to turn these screws. Disconnect the battery and reset the alarm off. We'll find out. <laughs> so, I always disconnect the earth first. Now that's the earth to the body off. But now I need to get this off. It's gone dicky. Because you're undoing the earth, if you touch the body or anything metal, it doesn't matter. Right. That's everything disconnected from the battery now. I've got a little cap I'll just put over top of there. Just make sure nothing goes back and contacts it. Solar power. I mean, today it's, as you can see, horrendous. Um, but what I need to do is disconnect this. And and I tape that up so that that can't touch anything because that could bring a charge into the vehicle. So we need to disconnect this battery as well, which again on the earth side. Now, 
don't know whether you heard that. That was the alarm. So that's that one. That's me incoming positive. Fix it. So this wire is live. So what I need to do is just make it safe. So now that's taped up, we shouldn't have anything coming through anywhere now on the vehicle. So, let's get the battery out and or try, if you look at this battery, um, it's tight here, it's tight here with this, so I don't know how I'm going to get it out, but we'll see. Stick a bit around this terminal, just in case anything catches it. battery returning bracket but I've got another one down here as well so um, another one down there could be an eight mil yep we've got to get this out we can't get the battery out okay okay so, the battery is now free, but how the heck are we going to get it out of here? Because it's under this bar on the seat. Um, why this bar's here, I don't know. It won't come this way. The only chance is take it that way and try and lean it up, maybe. But that's... Hmm, that's not going to go. Answers on a postcard. It may be that I've got to remove this, which I really don't want to do, because it's got, there's a lot of things on here. I don't want to be messing with really, but that's the only way I'm going to do it. That's what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to have to move that. See if I move them all that way. Not a job for the faint hearted anyway. So, just removing four screws off this control panel to see if I can ease it over, which will allow me to get the battery out. One thing I will say, Hobby, is I've made this extra pain. Real pain. So that's my four screws out of there. Now, this does move. Now I've moved that lot, but I don't want to obviously make too much of a mess with it. Now, will that go? Will that go forward? If it will, that'll be good. So I'll click that out of there. Out 
to ease that up a bit just to allow it to creep through. And I wonder if I can't come I can't come up. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh yes. We have lift off. Oh. Not a good idea. Well, she's out. I'll go get the new one. Come on, old battery. That's heavy. New battery, right. Let's attempt to get it back in then. So... Right, this could be a tricky bit now, because I've got to try and keep that out of there. I'll we'll try and drop this into here. So... Try and just get the battery somewhere near. If that's slightly on an angle, we'll allow it to go a little bit further. Oh, well, in we go. There's a little bung on these. Got to make sure you remove that. Right, so battery in position. And it's this bracket that needs to go back on first, but it might be easier now because I've got the Electrics out of the way. Quite tight that though. Mrs. Slaw said uh, no swearing. that bracket there and I've got my bracket at the front which is this one which is your two bolts there so those two that I've done and then point that one to you we've got the camera here there's one there as well that's an eight milli uh, these are 13 millis And nip, it's nipped. That battery's not going anywhere now. So now I've got to get this unit back in position and screw that back down. Which could be challenging. Get the easier ones in first. Won't screw it tight yet till we've got them all in, so we've got movement. It's a more awkward. I got it. I think, yeah. Snip them down. Okay, so that's that nipped down. So, battery in. Just checking all them wires are okay now. Everything's good. Everything's back on. Just checking all connectors in the box. Making sure everything's in okay. Although we've not had anything out, but sometimes things are. Get loose. So I need to get Mrs. Slaw to get me a brew.
Can I have a brew, Mrs. Slough? You certainly can. To your coffee. Uh, I'll have a coffee, please, actually. Yeah. Okay, then. Thank you. I'll get it made. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sorted. Right, let's get this thing back together. Right, so that's all back in. So now we'll go back sort of in reverse order. So I need to put the positive terminal on first. Okay, so. It's open enough so it goes down properly. Yeah, that's on them anyway, so that's okay. So again, because our negative's not connected, it doesn't matter if we touch the body. Now I've not greased these. Some people grease, but uh, would it be a ledger? I don't think we need to. Right. So that connected and put this back around hopefully to cover it might just need to alter it slightly let's see if it will go or not yeah i just need to cut off that lug there let's stop in the that's it so that's protecting the positive from the metal bar of the vehicle well i'm on with this job Trying to get in down there. I bought this for my um, solar controller. It's a display, but I'm going to put it. I'll show you when I do it. I'm going to put it down here, just in this panel. It's not ideal. Got to bend down to look at it, but it means I don't have to get the wire right up to the control panel, which is way over there. Um, so I'm going to do it down here where it's uh, a lot easier. To do it but i've got to get a wire from there to there so that's a challenge i'm on at the moment as well as well as having my coffee cheers mrs slot that'll help right See if I can get this cable through first and then we'll go and start to put everything back together. Does that now give us any? Scope. If we can just get this over here, we're laughing. Where's that gone now? It's gone somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Ta da! So, all I've got to do is get the cable back. So this is my solar cable and I've got to plug in to my controller which is in here and it should be in there like so Camera, the camera, back in there. So I think first what we'll do is put the battery terminal back on now.
so we'll just ease the connector a little bit to make sure that she's on properly yep it's okay very close to here but it's an earth so that's okay that is now connected so we can probably get the cab battery back connected now so let's connect our earth back on good nip Here, everything's clicking and banging because that's now got the main connection back on. Good old nip on these connectors. Check everyone, all we can get in. So we don't have the luxury of this when the seat is on. So everything's solid, everything connected. That's all in. I can get my voltage back from the panel. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mrs. Slow. Right, Rob, uh, can you get round the back? Yeah. Try and ease it up to start, where we can, we can sit it on either, if we... Right, round to there. So, watch all your cables, so I've stuck some to the seat. Right, ready, Mrs. Slow? <laughs> Where it gets uh, a bit awkward. <laughs> so what you've got, you've got two studs. Yeah. See, Mrs. Slow's muscle to the rest. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Slow. So, a bit hard to see, but on these seats, now I didn't video removing the seat, so you have to pay attention as I put it back together. So the base is on. This is your swivel base. So this is your swivel base. So that's sat on now, but there are two just here and at the other side. You can see that there are two um, studs and they drop in through the frame. So you can't get it wrong. And they have a 13 mil bolt that's bolted from underneath, like so. So I've put that on hand tight now so that I don't lose the seat. Then what you've got, right, what holds the seat down are these and the Torx bolts. And it's a, um, is it an M40 I think, a T40 sorry. So it's a T40 Torx bit that you need to fasten these seats down. Now they are quite awkward. <coughs> because they're underneath, they're under here, under the swivel plate. So some of them you can get to, some you can't. For instance, 
one on this corner. If I pull the lever and just turn. Now that one I can get to now. So that's an easy one. I'm not going to nip them up tight to start with, just in case I need a bit of movement to locate any of the bolts. So I'll just take it down somewhere near. Now on this corner, there are two for some reason, and I think that's because when I show you at the other side, um, there's this bolt that goes at the other side, and that's to catch the um, or to stop the seat swivelling, it hooks under, or I'll show you. So take them down lightly. So you've two there on this corner. So when you're removing, they're two to get out by turning the seat. <coughs> you've got your bolts underneath, two of. Now it stopped raining, so I'm just going to zip round the other side now and see. If I can get that in, just make sure, which I didn't, that you get these wires down underneath there to connect in shortly. <coughs> but what we didn't do is. On this bolt under here, this 13 millet, which again, slow forgot, is the earth lead for your seat belt tension up here, which I taped up so it didn't catch anything. Right, so this earthing strap goes on this bolt. Under here, the 13, where the 13 mil is going to go. So you put that up first, and then you nut. Bit awkward. And it can help if you pull this part at seat apart there, like that. If you pull this back, don't forget you've got your battery isolator on there. the corner ones in here. So these front ones, these front ones are the fat headed. Not the countersunk, countersunks are for the, the, rear, the, rear, the rears. That's those two at the front. So we've just got one at the back to do which we'll go do now before we tighten everything up. Under this corner here, you've got a tapered and one that captures the seat. Now, I don't know whether you can see or not, but if I swivel on an angle, this is the part that locks in and it goes into this one here, which, as you can see, you can't get in for the swivel plate. Conundrum. So what you've got to do is turn it behind the, the holes. Yeah. So if you turn the seat round so the front's facing you, you've then got a hole up above here in the swivel plate. Excuse the dust. So what we've got to try and do is is we go in over the top. So I'm going in through a hole. Oh, you can see that now there's a hole in the seat there. That's the only way to get this one out. Which is in. And then at the back behind it we've got the tapered one that needs to go in there. So again down through the hole. And 
it in and then that's everything located so we can then start and tighten things up so what we've got to do is I'll get my ratchet is go in over the top and down it's that one there for that one to do that one which you can now tighten properly because like I say we've got everything all the bolts are in now all the main bolts so we can start to nip it up so, good nip on that one and then the bolt the bolt one need a spanner so I've got a little mover for this one So that's that nipped. <coughs> so round to those two at the back. Swiveling the seat round as needed. That front one. So that's all the Torx ones done. We've now got the 13mm ones that are underneath here to do. Right, so we've got this one here that we've got our earth lead attached to. I'm going to go in the front there, just making sure that we don't touch anything. Nipped. Okay, so now that's nipped. We we'll have to plug our seat back in, which is plugged in, and then that just tucks in under here. Just tuck that in there. It's all insulated. Now I've got my panel to get back, so I'm going to make sure that that's covered. There's no things there, so this panel just sits back in. Like so. And just screws in. Little posy screws. panel on you don't need to take this panel off but I just found it easier to get in here um, with that removed backwards right we'll move around to the other side now so that's all in so the next thing we need to do is get the main battery covered down just checking everything's okay in there which it is These turn round and they lock in. So just gotta make sure we've got them back to start with, otherwise. Otherwise we're gonna have fun. So we've got to do is locate the two pegs at the front. Get the screwdriver that might be better. Right. Just make sure they're all open so then push down twist locked in right that's the main battery 
thing now uh, cover down and secured. That's the thing that I had to remember to take out the battery, which I have. It's a bone for travelling. Okay, so now <coughs> front piece can go back on. It just sits in those little clips. Push down, and then that clips back onto there. So I get that off, you just lift the front, flick it down, and pull. Then we've got a side panel here that I took off to enable me to get to this 13mm, which I've still got to nip up. So I've heard people saying that you need a grinder to get these seats out, but you don't. It's not welded, well, the the studs welded to the plate, but the nuts underneath, 13mm, short socket, 3 8 drive, perfect for the job. There we go, that's that nipped. <coughs> so, the side panel now to go on, which is this piece. Same as the one at uh, the other side, apart from um, you haven't got the um, isolator in it. There is like a hook here that goes onto this bottom bar. This is slow, you need to clean. So that hooks onto the bottom bar. And then clips in like that. Big screw up the top. Small screw in this one. Get my butter fingers to work. It's quite cold in the van. So when you're removing these panels, need to come off first, or this side one definitely. The other side, if you want to do, I would do. Just be careful about the isolator. There's a cover to go on the rear. Here, but I've got to plug the charger in yet. I was just seeing what the uh, solar panel was doing. So now I've got to mount this. This is my next job. Now I'm not gonna go all the way up to try and put it up in the top of the van. I don't see the point. It's only for me to glance at. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount it uh, probably here somewhere. So, looking at mounting it, somewhere here, I think. Out of the way, uh, not a million miles to run a, you know, the cabling, um, and, and perfect for what I want. So, I've just got to make sure that there's nothing behind. I'm not going to hit anything, because I've got cables behind as well. So, probably down there somewhere. Just make a little pencil mark as to where we want to be. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of tape across. So let me just measure that roughly where I want to be. Uh, measure the inside to check we're going to go need to be at least five inch down. So we're okay there. So we're about 45 mil down from the top of there. Okay, so I'll put some tape on to protect. Now I've got a template for it, which we can stick over. Just checking where my centre line wants to be, somewhere there. So somewhere there. wants to be somewhere there, just double checking my measurement. Yeah, we're okay there. Be careful when we go through. 
<coughs> so we've got a template and it's saying drill some 8mm holes um, you can do we don't really need to do because I've got a fancy cutter so this will go through without needing holes drilling but we'll just we'll tape the template on and we'll see so we're going to roughly centre there roughly top there just um, pencil a level line there just to give me an idea where I want to be so just check with my controller I've got plugged in but, uh, there is okay and uh, make a mess do just pull the carpet back so that the rubbish goes on the floor. cable bends back like so to allow it to go in. As you can see even though it's raining we're pulling 0 0.1 0 0.2 amps. Right screw supplied to fit. Now I'm not going to drill these I don't think I'm going to try and just screw them in if I can find a decent screwdriver for them. the wood's quite soft so I'll get my first one in and hopefully I can get a level off that Over tighten them, so you're only going into soft wood. And there we go. You can see now the sun has come out of it, but it's winter sun, and we're pulling 1.1, 1.2 amps. So, different settings on it, and powers watts, watt hours, which I need to read the instructions just to see what it's all about, the voltage, the ampage. Right, okay, better tidy the place up before Mrs Slaw gets back from shopping. So, just the front panel to go on there, when I plug this back in, this is the charger, so Plug that in now. So that's now set it charging uh, from the mains, as you can hear. And I've just got one panel to go on there. Another tip. Over time sure it's in all motorhomes is the trims come away you see they just start to come away so I use a bit of Evo stick me and stick them back on otherwise it's gonna get messy 
This is just like a jelly. So it's not runny. Basically just like a jelly. So when it's got a bit tacky, which that has now, shove off the excess. There we go. All maintenance. A lot of home maintenance. Okay, so all in done. A um, bit of a daunting task to start with. Wondering how we're going to do it, but um, actually not not a bad job. Um, so I've, I've learnt a few things along the way, i.e. how to get the seat out. You don't need a grinder. There are two 13mm nuts underneath, which you'll see as I put it back together. Um, any questions, um, just pop it in the comments um, and I'll, um, I'll help you if I can. Okay, so there's your batteries on now. Charging. We're now showing battery, but obviously we've got to charge them up, haven't we? So we just put it in. So we'll be away next week. Thanks for watching.